Oh boy, now what do you do? How do you care for this child? Well, you provide for the physical needs, of course. But how do you nurture the mind and the spirit? What will you teach her? Over millennia, experience and divine inspiration have provided the answers. Love her. Surround him with light and truth, and he will thrive. Experience and divine instruction have also taught us we do better when we help each other. So, we formed families, we built churches, and we opened schools. When family, faith, and the school come together to love the child and teach comprehensive truth, something truly transformational happens. We founded the school in 1970, and of course the spark plugs were Verlin and Shirley Anderson. And Verlin uh, uh, kept talking to me and convinced me, so finally I got involved, and I was one of the founders. I loaned the money to the school to buy the property, the building where we first had school over in Pleasant Grove. It was a very, very humble beginning. We was really scratching financially. When I think about the school that I grew up in, that, that old church building, and we all recognize this was not a fancy school that we went to in terms of how it looked, but the inner core was so deep and good. And it felt like we offered our five loaves and two fishes. This is my grandparents and those who gave so much, and God expanded it. He blessed it. It is unbelievable, I think, to those of us who remember sitting in those little green benches and our little tiny offering and watching how it has expanded. How could we say enough thanks for generous people who had a vision for what could be? Every time I come on campus, I look at this beautiful 40-acre campus this didn't just happen overnight. It's the result of a lot of work. I think now we're up to seven or eight different transactions for land acquisition to put 40 contiguous acres together. That's remarkable. That's remarkable. And there's no question in my mind that this school has a future and that we've been blessed because Heavenly Father loves His children and He needs a generation of children who have a special education. That's American heritage. This school has allowed me to create a relationship with God and to figure out who I am. and has given me that, that confidence through the things I've learned and done here um, to be able to make real change in myself, in my family, in my community, and hopefully someday in the world. I smile when I think about student conversations where I am enlightened by them, where and that happens all throughout the year where I'm just so inspired by things that they share, personal experiences or stories that just impact me. Being here allows me to be involved in the youth and athletics in an amazing facility um, and be surrounded by you know, a group of students that are, that are really special. And being able to not only share my love of athletics with them, but what's most important to me is my testimony. I love the values that it teaches, love the, the way that it helps our children to think about current affairs and the world that they're gr growing up in, to understand it, to understand sometimes the fallacies of, of, of the arguments of, in society that, that they're surrounded with. Um, I love that. I love the basis of the Constitution and, uh, and, and the, the founding of this country. And, and how that's an emphasis and, and how the kids come away with an understanding and a real appreciation for that. The biggest thing for us was that we were looking for a place where the, what we taught at home could be supported and amplified and reinforced 
by what the kids were learning at school. It's been a huge impact. I mean, our, all, our children are, are very different people now than they would have been otherwise. There is nothing more precious than a soul, a son or daughter of God. And there's nothing more important. How can they know unless we teach them so? How can they know the path that leads to happiness unless we teach them so? So what's next? Where do we go from here? We continue to expand our American Fork campus. We are opening a new Salt Lake City campus in the fall of 2022. And our online programs continue to add more courses and products to meet the needs of thousands of existing and future students across the globe. In all we do, we will stay true to our mission to help parents worldwide to develop the hearts, minds, and bodies of students to realize their divine potential. In short, it's all about spreading more light. <laughs>